Do you ever stop and think what might lie right beneath your feet? Something exciting could be just below the surface. And in fact, right here in Runnymede, archaeologists discovered a big pile of prehistoric rubbish. It's not what you think. Actually, in archaeology, that's really exciting. A rubbish pile is called a midden, and it holds all sorts of clues about prehistoric daily life. I think most of us are curious about how did they actually live? Who were those people? What informed the way of experiencing the world and so on? And to do that, you have to get the things which were they worked with every day, they used every day, and they broke and they swore because now this pottery was breaking and, and they couldn't use it anymore. And what did they do then? So uh, it is uh, more everyday things which get you closer to a sense of people and how they lived. Until Runnymede was discovered, little was actually known about daily life in the southeast of Bronze Age Britain. Over 30,000 objects were discovered here, and that's a lot for a typical sized settlement, which suggested the Runnymede was something a little different. If you think of the residue that's left over after a party, all the beer cans and all the, the crisp packets, they don't look particularly exciting. But at the time the party was taking place, that was the place to be. That was full of life and full of, of people interacting and chatting each other up. And I think we have to think about Runnymede in those terms as a location like Glastonbury, where in incredibly intense activity happens over a short period of time and builds up lots and lots of debris and rubbish. And that's all left. The morning after or the day after the festival, it looks like a, a rubbish tip. And that's basically what we've got at Runnymede. So although what we might see might be shards of pottery and bone, we have to imagine those within really vibrant party-like events. We can't say for sure why people were gathering here in large numbers, but it seems quite likely that they were worshipping the river in some way. Valuable bronze objects have been found deliberately broken and then cast into the river, and this suggests that bronze wasn't just practical, it took on some kind of spiritual significance. During the Bronze Age, the Thames was hugely important to people's beliefs, and we know that because they are depositing human remains and incredibly prized objects into the Thames in the form of things like swords and shields, and they're intentionally breaking and destroying those objects before they cast them into the Thames. So we know that these are not accidental losses, these are intentional offerings. It's like, it's like I guess, going to buy a Ferrari having it delivered, no miles on the clock, and then immediately scrapping it. This is the, the most precious thing I have, and I'm using it to um, gain favour with or appease you know, ancestors or, or whatever. <laughs>